heartbreaking. Joe R. Peo is running. President Trump has made a lot of allies and a lot of enemies during his time in office, but few alliances as strong as the one he has forged with former Sheriff Joe R. Peo. Their relationship started before the president was elected, and continued after the president decided that R. Peo was unjustly punished and pardoned him. R. Peo's pardon caused a huge stir among liberals because they considered his conviction to be a huge win for political correctness. However, the fact that R. Peo was being made an example of was abundantly clear to anyone not blinded by the rage of a social justice warrior, and President Trump recognized that. The next step for many who've been through what Sheriff R. Peo has been through might be retirement, but not for this sheriff. He considered himself to still have a lot to offer and he wants to be the next voice of reason in the United States Senate, and according to the Washington Examiner has thrown his hat in the ring to fill the seat that the controversial Jeff Flake is vacating. Republican Joe R. Peo, a close ally of President Trump and former sheriff known for his provocative approach to combating illegal immigration, is running for Senate in Arizona. The 85-year-old Arpaio could shake up the late August Republican primary in a critical open seat race to replace retiring Senator Jeff Flake, Republican Arizona Trump pardoned Arpaio last summer, sparing the former sheriff jail time after he was convicted of ignoring a federal court order in a racial profiling case. Arpaio served as the elected sheriff of Maricopa County, which encompasses Phoenix and surrounding suburbs for 24 years until a Democrat ousted him in 2016. Through strict opposition to illegal immigration and unorthodox policing methods, Arpaio cultivated a national image as a tough, law and order cop. That made him a favorite of conservative media and popular on the GOP endorsement circuit as Republicans throughout the country sought to bolster their border security bona fides in primaries. Arpaio might not be following the normal pattern for how a person starts their national political career, but if the past couple of years have taught us anything it's that America is ready for some honest and trustworthy candidates, even if they're unconventional. Arpaio's approach to what his border state needs will be new and improved compared to what the current senators are doing for the good people of Arizona, but it will be the same kind of no-nonsense approach that he took during his tenure as sheriff that was quite effective. Arpaio's sharp rhetoric and law enforcement practices also drew intense criticism. Democrats, some Republicans, and advocates for immigrants, both legal and illegal, accused him of unconstitutional racial profiling and even bigotry. Arpaio said he expects more of the same in his Senate campaign, but vowed not to alter his approach. My mother and father came here from Italy, legally of course. I have a soft spot for the Mexican community having lived there, he said. I'm not going to get into my personal life, but I will say we have four grandkids and some have a different ethnic and racial background. I don't say that. I don't use my grandkids. So, I have a soft spot, but still, I'm going to do my job. You have to do it. Being a U.S. senator is a little different than being the sheriff because you can do a lot of things in the U.S. Senate, and I have many plans, believe me. It's tough. It's a tough decision. But, if you're going to come across that border, you should be arrested and get the consequences of it," R. Peo added. I have a far-out plan, which may look stupid, he said. When they come to your attention that they're here legally, these young people, deport them back to Mexico, or whatever and then try to put them on a fast track to come back into the United States legally with special permits. What's wrong with that? They'd say they don't know where their home country is, so let them go there and spend six months because it might take that long to do paperwork to get them here legally and let them see their home country and see what it's really like. They ought to be proud where they came from. I'm proud being an Italian-American. I'm proud of Italy. I'm proud my father mother came over, proud of it. So, you could kill two birds with one stone. That would be no amnesty, everybody would be happy, you deport them and then let them come back with all their education here. I'm sure they could find a temporary job or help the foreign countries and build up relations and come back. That's just a big picture that I have. People may say I'm crazy. What am I crazy about? It just makes sense. 
It's safe to say that if you hate President Trump, you'll hate Joe Arpaio and his approach to the law. However, if you're pro-legal immigration, pro-America first and ready to see our senators fighting for the people of their state instead of their own careers, you might want to consider supporting Arpaio, Paio.